uh, you know, so, sometimes things are best left in the past, which may be, uh, which may come up in a minute. But let's get on uh, yeah, to yeah. to our weekly uh, box office talk. Yes. <clears throat> so, as is our has as has been our habit, when the winner of the weekend is interesting, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll put a pin in that for the moment. Yes. <laughs> So if we take a look at the top 10, uh, Avatar and Puss in Boots and Ant-Man are all out of it. Yep. I hadn't noticed that Ant-Man had fallen down to like number 16 behind See. Jesus Revolution. Ooh. <laughs> and, and Jesus Revolution is in more theaters. Wow. At this point. Interesting. Mm. I, I guess for last weekend, it made sense to keep it around because uh, they actually had a fair number of faith-based movies for the Easter season this year. They had oh, His Only okay. Son, which is that story of Abraham and Isaac that we were talking about last week. Right. Um, there was another one I thought I saw in there. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Nope, not seeing it. Yeah. yeah. But regardless, uh, it, it seems to be a good time of year for that. Yeah. Um, uh, unfortunately, the worthy but uh, badly marketed and promoted uh, yeah. Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves sell from first to fourth place with a 63% drop, which is never yeah. good. No. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think that uh, I think we were, we were saying last week that movie has the potential to be a uh, a cult classic. Yeah, that one's a, that's one people might discover on streaming more than anywhere else. Yeah. Um, so a surprising bit of counter programming against Super Mario, though, is the movie Air from Amazon Studios. Hmm. The story of uh, the Air Jordan or the origins of Air Jordan. Ah, okay. Oh, was Which that I, the the Ben Affleck Matt Damon movie? Yep. Okay. Came in at uh, fourteen million hmm. for the weekend, which uh, I don't think they had a budget listed when I looked for that. Well, looked at it. Let's find out if. Yeah, they didn't really, but yeah, they, uh, yeah. still, it's part of the ongoing thing where uh, it looks like the streaming giants are kind of going. You know, there's money to be made by putting it in the theaters first. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, rounding out the top ten, we, we you know as bad as Dungeons and Dragons is doing, um, it made more money in two weeks than Shazam: Fury of the God did in four. Ooh, uh, Man, things are not looking yeah. good for Blue Beetle or Aquaman two at this rate. Yeah. And whatever that third DC movie that I know exists. Oh, Flash. We'll yeah, see how the, things yeah. look for Flash. That'll <laughs> the, yeah. The the Flash I, I I think will probably do okay. Yeah. Um, Just having I, I, Michael Keaton Batman is gonna sell some tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Although it probably won't do as well as they were hoping it would. I mean that movie with all the reshoots they've done and all the delays and everything, there is there's not a universe where this makes like the billion dollars or whatever it would have to to break even. No, no. no. Which which is again malfortunate, but it yeah, it's kind of what happens when you you don't have an when you go into things without a plan, which is also for some foreshadowing for later on in the podcast. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Creed 3 is kind of holding in there. Um, we haven't really talked much about Creed 3 recently. Uh, yeah. So let's... Uh, what I'm curious is uh, how it ended up actually stacking up against Creed 2. Because it had a big opening weekend and it was the biggest of the series, but if you like factor it in like inflation, it was about the same number of tickets. Yeah. Um versus Creed 2. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, it's it's well over it. Yeah. But part of that could just be ticket inflation since what, 20... Uh, Creed 18? Was, yeah, that was a five-year yeah. gap? Huh. Yeah, I, I think I think COVID might have delayed the... delayed it. Oh, uh, yeah. But, 
Yeah, I mean, just just looking at it, it's, it seems likely that they just kept their audience, yeah. which is not a bad thing. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is also more foreshadowing for later in the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I haven't. Uh, well, I, of course, I haven't. I haven't seen Creed two yet, so you know, I really haven't even. I really can't comment on Creed three. <laughs> you have one up on me. I haven't seen Creed. Uh, Creed is. Uh, have you seen the original Rocky? Mm-hmm. It's basically the original Rocky. Okay, I've seen Rocky's one through six. Yeah. Screw you calling the last one Rocky Balboa just to confuse people. <laughs> Although I need, I need to rewatch those. I they had a deal at Best Buy for the six movie collection for twenty, so I picked that up and Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Uh the greatest embarrassment to it is that despite Puss in Boots launcher during that polar vortex, uh it was not able to beat the <laughs> box office of the kitty movie. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. uh but at least it's not Shazam. Oof. Yeah. Also, hi Dr. Mad Studio. Yeah, hey man. Good to see you. Uh, I know. Like wow, the, yeah, you yeah, wow, it is late over there for you. Woo. I like your avatar. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll we'll stay up with you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, meanwhile, we have a few new entrants in the DEG charts. Uh, Avatar The Way of Water debuted at number one, which is anybody surprised that it's big on digital after being the biggest movie of last year? No. <laughs> Although what's interesting is that uh, the domestic box office on it is actually is a bit smaller than the one for Top Gun Maverick. Hmm. Which I think tracks my experience, which uh, have you, uh, Daniel, do you personally know anybody who went to go see Avatar 2? No. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Tom over at Midnight's Edge has also said that he doesn't know anybody outside of his review circle who has seen the movie. Yeah. So that would be one I'd be very fascinated to see what like like what a breakdown of it region by region is like where was where is the area of strength for Avatar too? Yeah. Uh and and yes, uh, yes it was. Uh, yeah. So so Avatar two has not really uh, now it would be stupid to say that Avatar two was a flop or anything like that. Yeah. But uh, if you look at the global and and national box offices, uh the original one just com is still significantly ahead of Avatar 2. So there was some diminish there was pretty significant diminishment of interest over time. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and and of course I think uh actually I think Avengers Endgame might have passed it for a period of time and then they re-released it and now yeah. it's back up to number 1. <laughs> yeah, re-released it in China as I recall during during the pandemic. Yeah. So it's uh so it's one of those things where it's actually kind of a Smokey and the Bandit situation almost, where mm -hmm. you captured lightning in a bottle and you're trying to recapture said lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Although it definitely didn't have the box office. Like, it looked like it might have at first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Um, uh, there were a few surprises here in the top 20 compared to past weeks. Uh, looks like we have Plane coming in at number yeah. two. Do you do you have it pulled up on the screen? Because I'm not seeing. Oh. I'm, just, I'm seeing. Okay, Shazam. so what so what happened is um, I'm sharing my browser window, and I accidentally did that thing where you pull the browser away. Oh, and, okay. Um, it pulled it out into a new window. Oh God, I hate so, that. Yeah, I hate it okay, when that so happens. Here, so here's the Avatar chart. You can see where Avatar is still significantly ahead of Avatar Two in the same time frame. And that's before we even bring in our inflation adjuster. Yeah. Um, so Avatar 1, Plane 2. Plane. I, I, I seriously wonder <laughs> I, how much that would have made more if it had had an actual title. Yeah. and uh, Of course, have, having not seen the movie, I don't know what, what the alternate title would be. Uh, yeah. I mean... When your title is shorter than the genres that um, 
that the numbers suggests for your movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, well, Dr. Matt Studio, I don't necessarily know that you missed a whole lot not seeing the Star Wars celebration this year. Although, yeah, yeah. Although there is a part of going to a con where it's just part of soaking in the culture. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so we have we put a pin in Super Mario. Let's talk about Super Mario as a separate entity because 